What's up, YouTube? It's Z Man World. I hope that one day I can become the king of rap and upgrade the rap god like Eminem. Rappers in this generation are too feminine. I separate with masculinity. I am heaven sent. Fisher for fisherman, but I don't. video and you see my hair is growing back but uh, I'm off the whole week for the marine film so I could uh, upload videos whenever I want now record videos whenever I want now I could finish my writing I could plan ahead more stuff that I have coming and I can grow my hair back and get these waves back if I'm not going to be working again on the second because they're not going to be needing us until the second and they might let some of us come back to work for the marine film on the second. But anyways, today's video is going to be about the Bad Boys movie that just came out. Bad Boys 4, I believe it is. Ride or Die. Personally, the only bad boys I've seen before this one, I don't remember which one it was, but all I remember from it was Martin got shot in his ass, or Marcus, whatever the character's name is. He got shot in his ass, and he kept joking about it, and he was taking a shower and some shit when he got shot in his ass, after he got shot in his ass. So uh, that's all I remember. I don't remember the full storyline or what happened or what else happened in that movie, but all I remember was that he got shot in his ass. It could have been that movie. It could have been a different movie. I don't know. Maybe it's Big Mama or some other Martin movie. But uh, I believe Will Smith was in that movie too. If it wasn't Bad Boys. But um, I didn't know too much about Will Smith's son. And his Spanish girl. And his wife right now. And I mean I'm spoiling this. For the people that haven't watched this yet. Or for people that haven't watched bad boys movies at all so keep that in mind i might spoil some of this but y'all want me to do a review so i have to spoil some of it anyway but um yeah the storylines is good you know i don't know too much about bad boys like i said i only knew about one scene from the whole bad boys series but the storyline and plot from the other movies sound good. And the mother is Tashina Smith or whatever the fuck her name is. Uh Mark Marcus wife or uh, Martin wife. Uh she start with, her name start with a T. Tasha Smith, I think her name is. She's an actress. I knew her when she when I was growing up. I seen her at Essence Fest before. I might go to Essence Fest this year. But uh last year at Essence Fest there's a cold read thing. I don't know if it was for like an audition for a film. But that's something I'm interested in doing again if they're doing that this year. Maybe I could do that and get noticed. But uh, last year when that happened, I sent my headshot and all my information through the email. And the day that they wanted me to come, I didn't see the email. So that's what happened and I didn't, I wasn't able to do it. But uh. Back to the story, um, with Will Smith's son being a fucking cat killer and assassin, killing everybody and shit, that's a good storyline and shit like that. I forgot what else happened, but there was some good, there was some good, um, parts and bits and pieces to the story. And the, the hot dog scene, I thought that was funny. Uh, when he had the relish and the mustard, I tried that. I have, think I had relish before, but I forgot what it tasted like. But I might start eating it more often with my hot dogs if I see it from now on. But I tried that when I was filming last time. I even put wasabi on my hot dogs. Some of y'all going to say that's nasty. I tried that shit. I might put that in a film. I might write that down. Put that in the script. 
and that would be funny, I guess. But yeah, he was like, ooh, get that hot dog right there. You see that wiener? Get it. Ooh, yeah, it's a big one. Oh, put some relish and mustard on it. That's literally how he was. And uh, what else? I think that's it, man. Yes, man. All right, what else? Oh, the slap. When Marcus or uh, Martin was slapping Will Smith. I forgot Will Smith's character's name. He kept slapping him and shit. Some people were saying that was referring back to the Will Smith and Chris Rock slap. I don't know. Maybe they were saying that was, that was, that was his get back to getting Will Smith his karma, his revenge for what he did to Chris Rock. That's what some people in the media are saying, I guess. I haven't been looking at that stuff. But, you know... That's what's been happening. And also the um the 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 the, the spirit world where where um Martin or Marcus falls in the water when he catch a heart attack and he goes to a place that he ends up seeing in the future in the, in this dream or like in this dream like uh, state from this near death experience, he sees this place in the future, and a, another dead person he sees. I don't know if it's from another film from the Bad Boy series, but he sees it. That's supposed to be like a heaven. I felt like that was pretty interesting. So overall, I would rate this movie a B or a C plus. And I would rate it a 7 out of 10 on the scale of 1 to 10. Now, if now I feel like this movie lived up to the hype. So that's why I rated it a 7. If it was better, I would have gave it an 8 or a 9. So that's why I rated it a 7. I rated it a 7 because I feel like this movie matched the same energy that the trailer was giving off. I felt like it was going to be a good movie. And it was going to be a big movie, but it wasn't going to be too big or like a mega smash blockbuster or hits, some shit like that. Some people might disagree. I think my dad might think it might be a blockbuster. I don't know. But uh, I think that it's not going to be a movie that people are going to keep talking about for years or until the Oscars. They might, they might not. But I don't think that it's going to be a drawn out um, hype about it. Now, if the hype was more intense and this movie would have flopped, I would have rated it a six. Okay. But that's it for the video. I'm trying to think of what else. Oh, the budget. The budget and the numbers. I might have to stop this video and make another clip about that. But uh, when it first came out and we went to go see the movie and the box office did numbers, we looked at the numbers on IMDb. And we compared them. I think the numbers are different right now. But I think the opening week was like 50 to 150 million or something like that. 152 million. I'm 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 gonna go look and go check and then I'm gonna make another clip to make sure. But I think that was the opening week. And then the numbers it's doing now is 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 exceeding the numbers from before. So it's outdoing the budget. They're making their numbers back, so they're making their money back, so that's all that matters. Okay, so I just checked out the numbers. So the budget was one hundred million. The country opening weekend it was uh fifty seven million, and then across the U.S. it was one hundred and forty seven million. The the world in Canada it was two hundred eighty nine million. So that was it for the video. Like this video if you enjoyed. Comment what you think about the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. See you in the next video. And remember, we be original. I'm not good at fractions, but I get the action. This paper that I'm stacking for trying to win that rap and satisfaction. Dumb flows that I'm practicing. Fat like Dumbo while eating some gumbo. I'm like Big Daddy Kane. I'm a smooth operator. At the top like a numerator with a common denominator. Three-fifths is also six as a decimal. A foil binomials in the shape of a pretzel. She's so fine. Her behind is the shape of a pretzel. I'm a 